guys, it's Nelly Natural and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a DIY rice water curl cream that's perfect for wash and goes, twist outs, or braid outs. So if you want to know exactly how to make this DIY rice water curl cream, then keep on watching until the end of the video. To start off, you want to first make the rice water. Add about 2 cups of water to 1 cup of rinsed rice. Stir the rice so the water is evenly throughout the rice. Next, you just want to let the rice water sit for 24 hours. After 24 hours, strain it using a colander into a separate bowl. Tap the rice to get any excess water out. Next, you want to start off with one aloe vera leaf and cut about three pieces from the aloe vera leaf. Aloe vera is high in proteolytic enzymes. It adds shine to your curls and it also helps with itchiness and dandruff. Next, just cut the corners from the aloe vera so it won't poke you. Once you cut the corners from the leaf, just split it down the middle so you have access to all the nutritious things that are in the middle of the leaf. Repeat the process of cutting the corners from the aloe vera and splitting it down the middle. Once you do that, you want to extract the gel from the aloe, but make sure to use a spoon and not a knife like me to avoid cutting yourself. Add the extracted gel into a separate bowl. Here's about how much aloe vera gel I was able to extract from the three aloe vera pieces that I cut. After, you want to add about 1 fourth cup of that rice water you made into the aloe vera gel and then whisk it so it can thoroughly blend all together. Once you whisk it, strain the aloe vera gel and rice water using a colander into a bowl. Now it's time to make the flaxseed gel. To start off, you want to use about 1 fourth cup of flaxseeds and add that into a pot. After, you want to add about 3 cups of water into that 1 fourth cup of flaxseeds. Set the stove to medium heat and let the flax seeds begin heating up. Once smoke starts to form, stir the flax seeds so that way they don't get stuck at the bottom of the pot. When the foam starts to form, it means that your flaxseed gel is done, so you want to go ahead and strain it right away. Straining it at this step makes it super easy to strain it and it passes right through the colander. It's a bit liquidy right now, but once it cools down, it'll begin to form a more gelatinous texture. Flax seeds are super beneficial for the hair strands. They add tons of shine, they help to detangle and moisturize the curls. Into a separate bowl, add about 1 fourth cup of shea butter. Then add about 1 fourth cup of coconut oil. Coconut oil helps with dandruff while the shea butter is rich in nutrients that promote hair growth. After, you want to add about 1 tablespoon of kupiwasu butter. This butter is also high in fatty acids which help hair health. Then add all those ingredients into a hot water bath and let it begin to melt. Once it starts melting, add about 1 tablespoon of emulsifying wax and let everything melt completely. Once everything is melted completely, add the aloe gel rice water mix. Next up, add 1 cup of flaxseed gel. Then begin to whisk it. You want to be careful because the ingredients can go everywhere. But if you start at a low speed, you can avoid everything just flying out of the bowl. Whisk it until all the ingredients are thoroughly combined. Here's what it should be looking like once you're done whisking it. The mixture can thicken up. Place it in the freezer for about 30 minutes. After that 30 minutes, take it out of the freezer and begin whisking it so it can form a nice 
beautiful fluffy texture. I'm whisking it on medium speed for about 3 minutes. And here's how fluffy it's getting, I absolutely love how it's looking. Now just stir it one more time with a spatula to make sure everything is combined and super fluffy. For easy application, transfer it into a jar or an applicator bottle. You can store this DIY in the fridge for up to two weeks. I'm gonna be applying it to my curls and I wanna try something different other than a wash and go, so I'm gonna be doing a braid out. Now I'm just grabbing a little bit of the product and then smoothing it throughout a small section of my hair and then I'm just gonna begin braiding and I'm gonna repeat the same process all throughout my curls. So I'm smoothing it throughout a small section and then I'm just gonna begin braiding again. The placement of this braids all depend on how you normally wear your hair. If you like a middle part, then do your two front braids in a middle part. If you like a side part, then do the two front braids in a side part and just keep continuing applying the product and then braiding your hair in small braids. The smaller braids you make, the more curl definition you're gonna have. The bigger braids you make, the more bigger your hair is gonna appear. When I was transitioning, I did a whole bunch of braid outs and I always noticed that awkward middle part after I take out my braids. So to avoid that, I'm making one braid in the middle. Here is the rest of the application process and braid out process using the rice water curl cream. Once you're finished braiding, leave the braids on overnight or until they're fully dry for the best results. Once the braids are dry, begin to unravel them. To make this process easier, you can add a bit of oil to your fingers and then unravel each braid as you go along. Adding the oil just helps to prevent frizz as you're unraveling each braid. Here are my all finished results doing the braid out and my curls are super super defined. I'm absolutely loving the volume I have when this dried and my hair is also feeling super moisturized. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video please comment down below and let me know what you thought of it. Again thanks so much for watching and please subscribe. And don't forget to always test patch any DIY you apply to your hair. Pause this video and make sure to read how to test patch.